So Art always asks about the first uh, re 45 you bought. Yeah. And uh, I was wondering what your first mint was a Nelly Fox? Or? It was a Nelly Fox mint, wow. absolutely. <laughs> your first mint? That would be your mint? show, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Art, you never had one. He probably has uh, uh, Tinkers to yeah. Everest to Chance yeah. or whatever that was. Uh, one of those My first mint was a red Shane Deanst. Ah. Yeah. Just for the record. Okay. <laughs> but why? Uh, because that's what they were selling? Probably because it was the cheapest. That's what they were selling something. at Weebolts that way? <laughs> no, I, I actually, I could have gotten a Louis Aparicio. <laughs> Or a Nelly Fox. We're losing everybody with this. I, it's, it's really, I'm, I'm laughing, but I mean. Probably the first time this has ever been asked on television. <laughs> what was your first mint? Oh, man. Uh, and everybody would do, what, see, the other, the other thing with the Tigers, the Tigers had Harvey Keen, yeah. who later on became a one-legged manager. Yeah, talk the, about your chaws. Right. Oh, yeah, he yeah. used to have. But they traded him <laughs> for Rocky Calavito to the Cleveland Indians. And Rocky Calavito used to do this weird thing. Do you remember? Yeah. When, what he did he to, do? He, when he came up. To bat, he would do this like whole yeah. like rigmarole. Yeah. It was like very strange, and so every kid, of course, imitated him before mm. they got up. Oh really? Every yeah. tiger, ki every kid in Detroit. It wasn't a dance yeah. though. They didn't. No, the it was, but it looked it like the, it yeah. could have been, been the Calavito. It could have been the Calavito. <laughs> 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 it might be time. <laughs> I was just watching. They they replay. Um, uh, home Run Derby yeah, on that on that sports station that <laughs> yes. and oh that's a weird show yeah that's a weird and they recreate well you know they have Wrigley Field it was here and it looked oh, just Wrigley like Field? Wrigley Field right. in Chicago yeah. but right. it was the Wrigley Field out here right. and they would that was the field that they would uh, they had one in Catalina play. too a Wrigley Field oh. well, Wrigley owned Catalina yeah right? apparently yeah. the whole damn island didn't he yeah and then he gave it back yeah. most of it right? <laughs> well judge. You know, Who's most people, I don't Indians? think people understand that the division of Chicago is like directly south and north side. I mean, it's very clear. Nobody on the north side likes the Sox and nobody on the yeah. right side. But it's not like they want to kill each other. Well, they kind of do. But, yeah. but uh, so you were true to your geography and so was I. Well, it's kind of funny that the Cubs How are like 0-7. Oh already. <laughs> I didn't do it. I don't I'm just laughing. I'm just laughing. chuckle doing? for what, about uh, five million South Siders are having a personal <laughs> chuckle over that one. What, what the uh, Sox are doing good. They pay a lot of money for, for players, though. What, really uh, so how many, I mean, you must have made innumerable trips to Comiskey Park. How many did you make to Wrigley Field? Um, quite a few. Yeah? Uh, yeah. To Froze bowl? my nuts to, off to, there. To but. root for Shane Dinks, right? <laughs> no, no. For, actually, there were Sox, Cubs Sox games. Preseason Cubs Sox games, oh, yeah, like yeah. they're like, yeah, zero, yeah. I mean, you spend the whole game in the in the um, <laughs> bathroom with the with you know those hot floors. <laughs> <laughs> we just like they stand called in the front game of us yesterday. Like, yeah. They called a game yesterday on account of cold. I know it looked like a bear game, <laughs> like a Bears game in Wrigley Field. It was like <laughs> <laughs> poor baseball players who don't want to go out in the cold. I've just been rooting for uh, for a World Series of uh, Montreal and Toronto. I yeah, mean, that's they're in domes, I, though. Yeah, they're domes. That's true. Uh, they're both domed. But I was just, that was, that no, was my Green dream. Green Bay and anybody is the, is the World yeah, Series. We have just quintupled or sextupled the total sports content <laughs> of this <laughs> show of 500 <laughs> shows <laughs> in one, in one <laughs> five-minute swoop. Um, I have so many things to talk. Doug, I have one more Doug story. Then I we'll was going to say, Doug's brothers. been on the show how many times? And George's know, been on the show George, how many times? George said he wanted to hear stories. He didn't want to tell them today. So. Okay. What, I'm what, what, was, what was the germ? <laughs> now, about Doug's. Before the NAC, the NAC just played last weekend at the Viper Room. It was a riot, a lot of fun. They panned your shirt. They panned, they, they my panned shirt. your shirt. They had to find something to pan. Was, it, was uh, that guy from New Times in the front row, like oh, usual? No idea. <laughs> Wait, so looking anyways, for something. To anyways, anyways. Right. So, yeah, in, in your bio, which includes a lot of funny stuff, just could you briefly tell me about your your stint in the German progressive rock band? Oh, I, that's true. I, I my, my girlfriend no, it's called Triumvirat, and my girlfriend had spent all our money. And we, we were we were, were you in getting, Germany at the time? No, no, no. no. We were we were but this figures into the story. We were we were getting thrown out of our, our apartment in and, Hollywood. In Hollywood. And I had been registered at a thing called the Musicians Contact okay. Service and I got a call to go out to the valley to, to audition. And I went out and there were these two German guys mm -hmm. who and they said, Well play a song and so I played I, uh, I saw her standing there on the mm -hmm. bay I was playing bass. You're hired. Mm -hmm. So I, f I find it, and it's this band, Triumvirat. Who were this, fairly well known. They, they were. They yeah. they had a couple of hits, but their their bass player, who was also their lead singer, had just committed suicide <laughs> because the <laughs> keyboard player had stolen his girlfriend. Hmm. I had no idea. I knew nothing about this. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> and uh, went uh, because we were getting thrown out of our apartment. 
He said, well, you can come and live here at the, at, at the house. Yeah. Yeah. We did. I <laughs> rehearsed the band. We go over to, to, to Germany. I was being paid when, when I was in Los Angeles to get to Germany. They stopped paying me. They keep me prisoner <laughs> in this, in this uh, 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 apartment, like outside of Cologne. It's 30 below zero. I've got all my equipment. 30, 30 below and you're out of Cologne? <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm out of Cologne, yes. <laughs> But I had to escape in the middle of the night. My girlfriend's father was like a big wig in the Israeli army. <laughs> and it was like a military operation. I kid you not, it's an absolutely true story. In the middle of the night, we had all these guys like pulling my equipment out and taking it to the airport and putting it on transport planes. You see Richard like uh, Attenborough and Charles Doing Bronson exactly and like, right. you know, digging tunnels. Right. And I escaping from Germany in the middle well, of the night. Why do you think they kept you? We need this bass player. In the, in and they the stopped room. paying me. Who, you know, who knows? They didn't want to keep paying me. And, the only, and they knew I had no money to go anywhere else. It was a, that's a true Was your story. girlfriend with you or are you? She was with me. This sounds like a story of the Sprague Brothers with one of their girlfriends recently. But anyways, <laughs> let's, go, let's cut over to the Sprague Brothers right now. One camera on the band, okay? I want to ask him a couple of questions from. That's exactly. Yeah. That's exactly what I wanted to do. That was a Frank Tanana. Yeah. <laughs> no, wait a second. I don't, Frank, I, I do want to ask that question, left to right. Uh, Shorty, uh, do you remember your first baseball glove? Pete Rose. Pete Rose. Okay, uh, Derek, you got anything? Johnny Bench catcher's mitt. Johnny Bench. Wow. And what did what did Chris Frank Tanana? But of course, that was when he's on the Angels. When he was good. And uh, really Frank. Always. Mine also, Pete Rose. Wow. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> so uh, that last song you did, Deceived, is that uh, an original? That's one I wrote, you know, keeping all of us in mind because we've all been deceived by women. So. 